I'm Beth Holtzman with the University of Vermont Extension New Farmer Project. This session is part of our Building Your Network series. The series is designed to introduce you to resources that can help you launch and grow successful farm businesses. We'll also share tips to building productive relationships with lenders, insurers, and USDA agency staff. This series is a collaboration of the New Farmer Project and the University of Vermont Agricultural Risk Management Program and is made possible by funding from the Northeast Extension Risk Management Education Center. Today's session focuses on how the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service can help Vermont's beginning and new farmers. We're here today with Jimmy Young and Sarah LaRose, two NRCS Vermont staff members. Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy Young. I am a soil conservationist out of the St. Albans Field Office. I've been with the agency for about a year and a half at this point. Hi, I'm Sarah LaRose, soil conservationist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service located in the Northwest Zone, which is in St. Albans. The Northwestern, we're in the Northwestern corner of rural Vermont. Our zone services Franklin, Grand Isle, and Lamoille counties. And I've been with USDA for 22 years. Welcome. The Soil Conservation Act was passed April 27, 1935, amid the Dust Bowl, leading to the creation of the Soil Conservation Service, SCS, the original name of the agency. For 86 years, the Natural Resources Conservation Service has been a pioneer in conservation, working with landowners, local and state governments, and other federal agencies to maintain healthy and productive, productive working landscapes. In 1994, Congress changed SCS's name to the Natural Resources Conservation Service, NRCS, to better reflect the broadened scope of the agency's concerns. NRCS helps private landowners and farmers, including forest land operators, improve the health of their operations while protecting our natural resources for the future. We are working to ensure the long-term sustainability of agriculture. We offer one-on-one -on -one assistance to help you meet your conservation goals. What resource concerns can NRCS help you with? You can go to farmers.gov and use the conservation concerns tool to try to help you figure it out. NRCS offers financial and technical assistance through conservation practices, activities, and enhancements offered through a suite of farm bill programs to help agricultural producers make and maintain improvements on their land. The Natural Resources Conservation Service uses a nine-step planning process. This process begins when customers contact us regarding a resource concern that they may have. Don't know if you have a resource concern? Try the Conservation Concerns tool located at farmers.gov to find out. The purpose of the steps is to develop and implement plans that protect, conserve, and enhance natural resources within a social and economic perspective. The Natural Resources Conservation Service uses a nine-step planning process whenever it begins a project. The purpose of the steps is to develop and implement plans that protect, conserve, and enhance natural resources within a social and economic perspective. The conservation planner delivers the plan to the client and reviews it for accuracy and clarity. The plan contains a listing of the conservation practices and a schedule for implementation. Included with these practices, should be a description of the impacts of the selected practices on their natural resources. Plans usually include a map, fuel boundaries, soil map, and other items specific to the client's property. The conservationist may also include other alternatives that the client has not or is not ready to make a decision on, but are needed to protect the resource. The client then will request needed assistance from the NRCS to implement the practices. So a lot of beginning farmers um, use rented or leased land. Can they take advantage of all the great services that NRCS provides? Yep, uh, so beginning farmers that do rent or lease land from someone else, they can definitely take advantage of the services we provide. We can definitely go out there and do a site visit and provide the technical assistance, but after doing the nine step planning process and uh, verifying eligibility on their end, it, uh, then we could kind of figure out whether or not they'd be able to receive financial assistance from us. 
While our programs and services are not regulatory in nature, our assistance can help farmers in meeting Vermont's required agricultural practices. One of our most implemented programs, the Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP, offers practices with flat payment rates for on-farm infrastructure upgrades, improved agronomic practices, better irrigation practices, grazing infrastructure, and forestry and wildlife practices. Practice examples include new fencing, water systems, cover crops, improved nutrient management, manure pits, wildlife buffers, precision irrigation, and the list goes on. These farm upgrades are aligned with conservation outcomes that resolve resource concerns, such as improved soil health, water quality, biodiversity, energy efficiency, and help mitigate the impacts of climate change. We will talk more in depth about EQIP and how to apply for assistance in the next presentation. You can also visit our website at www.nrcs.usda.gov to learn more. NRCS serves farmers in Vermont with about 70 NRCS staff and conservation partners located throughout the state in 10 NRCS field offices. The state is divided into four NRCS zones, each led by an NRCS district conservationist, and each zone has a varying number of field staff. Your first step should be to contact your local NRCS office and make an appointment. What is your vision for your land and farm? What are your challenges and your resource concerns? Thanks so much, Jimmy and Sarah. That was great. In the next video in our series, Jimmy and Sarah will be back to share more details about key conservation programs and the steps beginning farmers can take to get started with NRCS. These programs can help beginning farmers build more resilient farm businesses by helping them manage production, legal, financial, and other risks. You can find more information about managing agricultural risks at the University of Vermont's Agricultural Risk Management and Crop Insurance Education website. Thanks so much for watching.